Hi everyone, um, we're still continuing with this question paper for 26 May 2021. So if you want to follow what I'll be doing, you can just get hold of this question paper and I'm still doing question three where we are required to do the break even analysis. So I'll be working on Excel. This was 3.1.1. So now I'm going to move to sheet two so as I can do 3.2. So in 3.2, they say use the given information and your answers in question 3.1 to draw up a table with the following columns. So the columns, I'm going to type them quickly here. Number of units, tab, fixed cost, uh, tab, variable cost, tab, uh, total cost tab sales tab profit or loss okay I'm going to use rep text to make sure that everything appears uh, like that and then they say complete the table of 12 equal intervals of 50 units each so it means I'm gonna start with 50 and then another 50 will take me to 100 so it means I will have my intervals up to 600 so I won't type all of them I can just underline these two and then I can use autofill handle up to 600 so that's where my number of units will end or my intervals will end and they say display all the amount as integers with thousand separators, but no current sign. So we are going to use uh, this information together with this information that is appearing on question 3.1.1. So if you see, you need to find your fixed cost. According to the information that was given in 3.1, your fixed cost is supposed to be 4,500. So you can put 4,500 there. Because fixed cost does not change, it means all these other uh, rows uh, will have 4,400. So you can use autofills handle just to copy 4,500 to all the other cells. And then the variable cost, according to the equation uh, paper, you were required to calculate the variable cost per unit. You, you realize that it was 19,000, 19 50. So it means to calculate the variable cost for 50 units, you are going to say equals to, and then you click where there's 50 units, and then you multiply by 19 rand 50, and then it's going to give you the variable cost for the first 50, and then you can use the autofill handle just to get the variable cost for all the other units as they increase. You'll see that for each and every line we are multiplying by 19 rand 50, which is the variable cost per unit. To get the total cost, we are going to say equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. Enter. Again, you are going to use the autofill handle to copy the information to other, uh, the, the, the formula to other cells. And then we need to calculate the sales. And we are told that the selling price per unit is 45 rand. So it means it's going to be equals to the number of, number of units multiplied by 45 rand, which is, it gives you 2,250 for 50 units. Use the autofill handle again to calculate for other cells. So we are copying the formula when we do that. And then we need to calculate the profit or loss. Profit or loss is equal to sales minus the total cost. So you'll see that in the first row, it will be negative. And then let's see, at some point it will start to break even. So that's how it's going to look like. So going back now to the question paper, they say complete all intervals, display all amount as integers with thousand separators, but no current. So it means we need to highlight all the amounts and then we go to the number group and then we get in there then we need um, the number but it must uh, we click on the number it must have no decimal it must be integer but there must be 
a thousand separator so you must tick that so that you can have a thousand separator so it's gonna look like that a thousand separator can be a comma or it can be just a space there to separate your your thousands so then they said they say insert the horizontal and vertical lines how do you do that you can just highlight all that information and then in the font group look for borders and then you can say all borders and then they say insert your examination number left header and then you print out eight as a right header so again insect um insect a, a header and then on your right you put your id number and then on your left you type print out print out a print out print out eight okay you type print out eight so then they say save the table as table and then you can print the table on one page landscape remember you can activate landscape from this side by going to the page layout and then go to orientation and then you can select landscape here or when you print you can say file print and then you can select the orientation here as landscape so it's gonna uh, look like this when it is landscape so that is how you are supposed to do this paper or, or this section of the paper so if you find these videos useful please like and subscribe to my channel so that you are you are notified if i put more videos thank you